In this video, I'll quickly demonstrate the Creature Kit Bash Kit by Jamie Dunbar. This is a library of creature parts, such as torsos, heads, tails, limbs, etc. But it's also an add-on that helps you quickly place these parts into your scene, symmetrize them if you want to, join them together, and so on. I think it can be a great help for sculptors and concept artists by giving you a quick starting point for all sorts of creatures. Jamie contacted me recently and asked me to help him spread the word about his product, and while I liked it, I just didn't have a use case for it at the time, until recently when I started working on a tutorial about rigging a complex creature with Autorig Pro. Jamie's Creature Kit Bash helped me create the exact being that I was going for in about an hour, rather than spending multiple days on it so let me quickly show you the basics of installing and using the kit. The installation may be a little bit different from other Blender add-ons, so it's worth showing. You can buy the Creature Kit Bash on Blender Market or Gumroad, and then you'll be able to download a zip file. You can install this zip file as most other add-ons. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, find the zip file, and install it then enable it. You won't be able to use the add-on right away. You have to close Blender and make sure you close all instances of Blender and then start Blender again. Okay, when you do, if you go to Edit Preferences again and then File Paths, you'll see that this CKTB Assets path has been added to your asset library. And so we had to restart Blender to update the dependencies. Now, if I go to Asset Browser, and switch to the CKTB assets, you'll see the creature parts that the add-on provides. So you have full characters like this one, but also parts such as arms, horns, and so on. So technically you can just drag and drop these parts here into the browser. If you just use append, that will work fine. You have to disable instance, by the way, if you want to know how the asset library works internally, you can watch my recent video about it. But this add-on, if you go to Tool, also provides some um, special functionalities. So you don't even have to understand how the Asset Browser works. So let me show you how I like to set it up. I'm going to start a new Blender scene. Then I'm just going to split a window like this. Switch it to Asset Browser. CKTV Assets. Then highlight the asset that you want to use. And something special about the add-on is that it treats the first asset that you import in a slightly special way. So it just assumes that the first asset will be some sort of a torso or a central piece. Um, so it will ignore the mirror option. At least that is how I understand it. But if you click add part, the torso will be added. Let's choose another one. Okay, it's a single piece. Then if I wanted to add some arms, I could search for arms, choose the arm that I like, and click Add Part. And that will give me left and the right arm. That is because I have the Use Mirror setting enabled. Right. Next, I can add a leg, or I guess two legs. Add Part. Scale and align them. Let's give it a head. So that will give me two heads. Um, so let's undo and remove use mirror. Get the Rhino Man add part and align it. And let's say this guy is holding a snake in its arm. So I think you can see how quickly you can kit bash something. All of these parts are now separate meshes. If you want to fuse them together, you have two options. You can use the join operator. That is just like uh, pressing Ctrl and J. So if I use it, it will fuse the two objects together, but without changing their topologies. So you'll see in X-Ray that the arm mesh still exists underneath the body mesh. And that may not be what we want, so if I undo, I can use the union operator, and that will basically perform a boolean. So now, these objects are actually fused together, and that 
can enable sculpting and so on. So here I made a quick union of all meshes. I can also go to data properties and maybe a voxel remesh the whole thing. So now this can be used as a sculpting base mesh. Jamie has a really nice YouTube channel himself and he has a series of videos showing you all of the different workflows that you can follow using the Creature Kit Bash. And he's the creator of the add-on, so naturally he would do it much better than me. I'll link to these videos, and for the remainder of this video, I'll show you a time-lapse of making the Centaurus with occasional comments. I'd already added the horse body and the human body before I started recording. Then I proceeded with adding a head and arms, making sure that they match the existing body. Next I tested a couple of wing options and picked the bat wings. Added a tail as well, and then I started thinking about joining these parts together. I tried Blender's voxel remeshing, but wasn't happy with the results. I especially wanted to keep the existing topology of the hands and head, because they look good and they would work well for rigging purposes, which is what I wanted to do. I decided to retopo the main body mesh using instant meshes, which is a separate app. It is a little bit old, but still one of the most intuitive tools for automatic retopo. Also it's free. You just have to export your model as OBJ from Blender and import it into instant meshes. Then inside instant meshes you can draw lines that indicate how the topology should flow, and the software figures out the rest. Once you're done, you can export an OBJ and import it back into Blender. Right away, I use the symmetrize command in edit mode on the new Retopod model to make it symmetrical and give it a clear center line. Then I joined the body, hands and head into a single mesh object and manually connected the topology to form a continuous mesh, which I'll be able to rig. I deleted half of the mesh and gave it a mirror modifier so that I can save some time and only edit half of my character. I also did some mesh cleanup here and there and I may do even more 
without showing it here in the time lapse. At the end I added some snakes on the head of the character, it is getting a little bit ridiculous, but the goal of my rigging exercise will be just that, to show that you can rig even things that are a little bit unusual. I hope you enjoyed this review and time lapse, and please check out the Creature Kit Bash on Blender Market and Gumroad. You'll find the link in the description box.